Welcome to Envision Freedom Fund's video, The Life of an Immigration Case. Our organization is located in New York City, and we pay immigration bond to free our neighbors from ICE detention because we believe that freedom is a human right. We provide support after we pay bond, and we fight to end the interconnected criminal and immigration legal systems. This video is part of a series to support people who are returning home from detention and preparing for their upcoming court date. Master Calendar versus Individual Hearings. When you receive notice by mail of your court date, or when you look it up on the portal, you may see that you have a hearing. A hearing is another word for a court appearance. For most people, these are intimidating. You may worry if you don't have a lawyer, you may worry that you'll be detained or deported if you attend court. To feel more in control of this process, it's important to know what can actually happen at a hearing. The first thing to know is that it's very important to attend court. In fact, if you don't show up to court, the immigration judge can order you removed in absentia or deported in your absence. There are two kinds of hearings in immigration court, master calendar hearings, and individual hearings. A master calendar hearing is a preliminary hearing. It's a chance to update the judge. It's not a decision-making hearing, and the judge will not be ruling on the outcome of your case. Instead, the judge may ask you questions like, what is your address? What have you done to look for a lawyer? Are you filing an application for relief? If you need more time to find a lawyer, you have the right to ask for another master calendar hearing. It's normal to have master calendar hearings, often as many as three and sometimes more, before you have an individual hearing. An individual hearing is a decision-making hearing. It's the same thing as a trial in criminal court. The judge will assess all the available information, including any testimony or applications that you've submitted. The government lawyer and the judge may both ask you questions and both you and the government lawyer can make a closing statement to argue your position. At the end, the judge may make a decision. If the judge needs more time to think about it, they will schedule another hearing and then deliver the decision. Even if a judge order orders you deported, you will not be detained for this alone because you have 30 days to appeal the judge's decision.